All right, question, Dan. What's the fish's name? The fish's name? Oh, shoot. I don't remember the fish's name. What's the fish's name? I have no idea. I was asking you. <clears throat> <laughs> it's gonna be a good time. It's a whole new era starting now. You and I can just start recording stuff in person. We can get food in advance. Oh, there's enemies out there. We can just, like, pretend like we're real people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, our health wants to tell us something. Yeah. Uh, we're, I'm Sticky Honey, and I make you honey. feel healthier. Yeah. Living honey. <laughs> Living honey. <laughs> if honey was alive, would you still eat it, Dan? Hmm, great question. If it was, like, the nectar of the gods that this that it is in this game, or just eat some honeycomb, and it'll cure what ails you. Think about it. Yeah. I mean, like, what... It, it, it's yogurt at that point, right? Like, just a live culture, right? Yeah, 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 right? So, but are, when you say alive, are you also meaning, like, alive and thinking? Like, you go to take a bite and it's like, I have a family! <laughs> <laughs> I guess that would dampen my enthusiasm for the healing power of honey, but... Nah, I'm gonna go to town on that honey. There's, <laughs> there is nothing you could do to honey to make me not eat it. <laughs> it's getting dark. Let's call it a day. I'll take a nap right here, thanks. <laughs> I was joking. I didn't think we were actually taking a nap right here in the sand. Good morning, sleepyhead. Ready to start the day? We could have portaled home. I have a bed. Was that maybe? Okay, maybe, maybe they just were like, you know, like neighbors are or Grunty's our neighbor. You know, let's just go over for a cup of sugar and go <laughs> stop at a beach. That puts a different spin on it. Yeah, yeah. like, like yeah. Of course, we know a witch is here. We didn't like. It's Grunty. We didn't expect her to be a witch and capture one of us and try to, like, <laughs> steal our beauty. You yeah. don't assume that of most of your neighbors. Don't be weird. I've had a neighbor or two like that. <laughs> <laughs> Always trying to steal my beauty. <laughs> Half the reason you moved out of here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> had to get away from him. It's like, honestly. I saw him, like, order a cauldron on Amazon. I was like, nope. <laughs> Getting out of here. You do, like... If you do one more beauty scheme, Phil, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hello everyone. Welcome back to Near Replicant on Playframe. Let us gather together as one and offer up our tears to the great Yoko Taro in the sky. Let's see. They want us to head up there, do they? Alrighty. Boy, I... If I were mayor here, I think I would elect to build... Just one more bridge from here to there. What a nice time saver that would be, huh? I don't want to criticize their city planning too much, given the real feat of architecture they've pulled off here. I just have some minor nitpicks. What that we could all live inside a building that looks like our face? That's, that's a, like... A power move, frankly. <laughs> it quite is. The it's confidence Grunty has. <laughs> like, live in, create for yourself a living structure in the shape of your head. For someone being obsessed with being the most beautiful, she sure is confident about her looks. <laughs> That's a good point. She's literally rushmore herself into the only mountain in town. <laughs> Do you think she'd remodel if, like, she, she was successful here? <laughs> That's true, yeah. That's like, a, she's creating work for herself. Just getting familiarized with my camera again. That is like what a what a foyer. What a foyer! Just an <laughs> enormous photo of here, yourself. You just walked through my mouth. Here's my face. <laughs> Welcome to my house. <laughs> I live here. If you hadn't guessed yet, <laughs> whose house you've entered? It's mine. It's mine. Um, I'm just thinking of like we can, we could try to use. Sink is somewhere. Hmm. That's true. Well, yeah, we could try to make something is sink. Uh, or water is skull. Water is skull is defeat. Huh. That's that would be bad, though, Probably, Carrie. but now I'm just that curious. That would be bad. <laughs> Cog is water. You're so preoccupied with whether or not you could do it. <laughs> oh, okay, question for you. Yeah. Do you think Banjo Kazooie friends slash roommates, or are they uh, <laughs> are they an item? <laughs> Weirdly, I'd never ever asked that as many times as I'd played this game. I never had the thought. I I very much see them as like 
two buds. I kind of do too, yeah. I just can't imagine, like... The relationship of having your friend in your backpack you carry around all the time, that feels like a... Like these two are buddies. Yeah, They're, it's it's very like buddy cop energy. Yeah, or like they go they go out and about and uh, handle all the world's problems together. And this is how they travel, and this is how they do it. If some if they're like actually any sort of romantic item, and you're keeping one of like one of them, it gets kept in the other's like backpack. Something about that feels very unhealthy. All of a sudden, I don't know why it's okay for friends to do it. <laughs> we can turn into a termite here anytime we want. Yeah. But we'll still have our backpack and our cool shorts, which are now sort of a skirt. And all the transformations have the cutest sound effect when you jump. If a termite could wear shorts, would it be like this or would it be like <laughs> this? <laughs> this is the answer! This oh my the, gosh, why didn't we think all this time? Banjo Kazooie has all the answers Banjo to these has questions. the answer. <laughs> Grunty's still taunting us. Also, there's this. I am Brentilda. It's Brentilda. Brentilda's nicer sister. <laughs> well, what a way to introduce yourself. Like, hey, I'm, you know, my sibling. I'm their sibling, but I'm nicer and cooler. <laughs> I hate Brentilda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, like Brentilda just gossips about her sister. She just gossips. That's all she does. <laughs> She's like, hey, I'm the nicer sister. You know that hag? That's I'm the nice one. Ali. Oh, Ali, will you come here? Jasmine? Where are you? Out, out in the menagerie. Hurry. So this means, in a canon sense, because we know that Iago is perfect at imitation, he chooses to sound like this. The voice Iago wants for himself, his true self, is Gilbert Gottfried. Boy, Jafar's gonna be happy to see you! A voice I can't do, but... A great choice nonetheless. A choice I think we would all make if given the option. There's something to the simplicity of the... old N64 graphics capabilities as well that makes the- Oh! <laughs> I'm some gold! What do you think gold sounds like when it talks? <laughs> Something like that, maybe just ballparking. <laughs> Grunty wears a flea circus under that repulsive dress of oh. hers. Yikes. Disgusting. These are nasty rumors you're spreading. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Ripper. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. My sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Broomstick Boys. They're awful. <laughs> okay, that's just your opinion, Frontel. Okay. <laughs> What if, what if it's all a misunderstanding, you know, and Brentilda is just dishing out dirt? No wonder Grunty has self-esteem issues and wants to change Brentilda. It's bringing her down. We are into the 800s now, by the way. Oh, I am going to fight a bird. Fantastic. Nominate you do it. There's more than one witch in this castle. Nominate, remember the name, or at least try. She makes that very hard sometimes. <laughs> you thought it was bad she had <laughs> an entrance shaped like her. She has a statue. I'm sensing a theme to the decor of this place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no gods or kings, only man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Also, somebody retool. Andrew Ryan's entire <laughs> opening, like, spiel as you're riding down in the bathosphere, but Grunty in rhyme. Yes, yes. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> it's getting late, so we're getting a little sillier. And we're also demanding a lot of work of you who just came to tune into a nice, yeah, video YouTube broadcast of two dance playing an old video game they we'll, like. We'll be waiting, viewer. <laughs> oh. <gasps> What's she doing here? More gossip. You sure like dishing out gossip? My lazy sister often sleeps on a pile of treasure. The dirty hat. What's, what's wrong with that? If I had a pile of treasure, you know I'd be sleeping in it. Yeah, like if you get a pile of treasure. Have you not seen Breaking Bad? <laughs> yeah. You just gotta. The only thing she's ever won was the biggest butt <laughs> competition 
at which school listen that has come back into fashion listen yeah <laughs> times have changed let me tell you Gr grunty has an insta <laughs> <laughs> Although she's dim, she attended Cauldron College. Yeah. Did you? Let's see your degree, <laughs> Brentilda. That's good for her. And for being dim, she's like, she's built in beauty transfer machinery. Yeah. Granted, she doesn't fit in it, so there, she needed Last to do a little I checked, bit more. Last I checked, we weren't in Brentilda's lair. <laughs> That's true. You don't have a lair. You're just like... She's a freeloader. Yeah. <laughs> Camping out in here. She's just... mooching off her sister. And trash talking her <laughs> to guests. Very rude. We are also not Very guests, rude. admittedly. We also <laughs> snuck in here. Ooh, we're on a plane. My gosh, we get to sit next Goodness, to the pilot most... dog, why are you here? You're supposed to be up front. We get to sit next to the most adorable one, though. <laughs> it's the true. The sleepy pilot dog. Hello. This is your pilot speaking. I'm a dog. <laughs> <laughs> if you're here, who's flying the plane? <laughs> Ain't no one flying this plane. <laughs> it doesn't need a pilot. <laughs> it just needs souls. <laughs> Buddy. You wanted to hear about souls. Yes. I would love to, pilot dog. Um, yes. You know what I do? When I was in pilot scroll, they told us how many souls were on the plane. <laughs> 50 souls. A hundred souls. Two hundred souls. But they left someone out. <laughs> they left me out, buddy. Aww. I've seen too much, buddy. But you still got a shawl. Plane won't let me leave. Oh. Plane flies on its own terms. <laughs> Where we're going, when we get there, I won't have a soul. I won't need one. There's nothing left to save. What? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for flying with us. Please enjoy your flight. Ah. <laughs> you really need to stop flying planes. Um, land at airport. I love that puppy. I do too. Pilot dog might be my favorite dog. They have a little crown and they're so small. Yeah, what is, where are all these eggs coming from? Don't think, like, this is very much like sort of the Cars universe thing. Don't think about it at all. <laughs> I'm just, okay, I'm just going to Google. Oh no. Regal eggs. Wait, what are you Googling? Regal eggs? Isn't that what Kazooie is? A Breagle? A Breagle! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A Breagle. That's right. Not a seagull, of course. Eh. Okay. Am I learning Breagle is no. not an actual oh, boy. species? It's not. It is a fictional species of bird. What? Check again. It's... <laughs> you type Breagle. There is no, like... <laughs> did you mean Breagle from Banjo-Kazooie? Or the real... No, it's just Banjo. Kids don't know Banjo, man. Neither does Google, whippersnapper. I had no- I- I thought a red-crested Breagle sounds like a real bird! <laughs> like, sure- Next you're gonna tell me bears aren't real. <laughs> like bears, the Breagle is entirely invented <laughs> and fictional. Invented by Rare Limited <laughs> from hit game Banjo-Kazooie. That should be a life lesson, Dan, you know? Yeah. Here at Playframe, we like to... <laughs> we, we like to teach you not about just games and how to be amazing at video games, mm -hmm. but how to live lives. Yeah. yeah. Find, find something new every... Learn something new every day. And, you know, by the end of the week, pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a profound sounding build up. <laughs> that was like the most like rule energy I've had. <laughs> I loved it. 
Oh, hazardous. Hey, Dan, I got a, I got a question for you. Yeah. It's, it's uh... I'm actually considering now if I've probably asked you this question before mm -hmm, in the past, mm -hmm. but it's it's a pretty <clears throat> it's a pretty serious topic. All okay? right, I'm listening. Why do they call it an oven when you oven the cold food all about hot eat the food? <laughs> I'm gonna need you to run that by me again, but slower. <laughs> Why do they call it oven when you oven the cold food of out hot eat the food? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I feel. <laughs> oh, it's just a dumb meme, but it's like one of my favorite things to say because it's just it just gives you a headache Like yeah. you hear it and you just it it's so nonsensical and you want to make sense of it Because <laughs> you can almost understand what's trying to be said. Yeah, no, I feel like I need to reboot my brain because like something it's Yeah, not, it's not opening the file, right? So <laughs> I guess I should have warned you before, also, these stories are going to be extremely near in tone. <laughs> I'm guessing every single one of them. If we manage to find- here, we will all count how many weapons and how many weapon stories are not sad or depressing. We'll keep a count as we go. I'm guessing it's not going to be a large number. Next, the Devil Queen. This story takes place in a small country at around the same latitude as the northernmost member of a nation of city-states that are part of a region with a village that is attempting to establish a trade agreement with another village on a tiny island in the ocean south of a country that used to have an alliance with the Republic next to a kingdom where a queen resided. That is a sentence. And finally, level four, and this one's going to be... challenging. The person who heard that question was the wife's husband's little sister's big brother's daughter's groom's little brother's nephew's father's mother's husband's bride's niece's father-in-law's wife's husband's little sister's big brother's daughter's groom's little brother's nephew's father's mother's husband's bride's niece's father-in-law's wife's husband's little sister's big brother's daughter's groom's little brother's nephew's father's mother's husband's bride's niece's father's in-law's wife's father's little sister's big brother's daughter's groom's little brother's nephew's father's nephew's father's mother's husband's bride's niece's father-in-law's wife's husband's little sister's big brother's daughter's groom's little father's nephew's father's and that's the end. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> you know what? I'm giving that one a point. That's pretty good. <laughs> one point. We did it. I don't think there was anything actually that tragic in that one. <laughs> Game, you did it. Oh, gosh. I'm already worried. Actually, no, let's not um, have them move yet. We need to get some stuff out of their way. <laughs> Stop. No. But you said you didn't want them it's to move yet. Ghosts. That worked. They stopped moving. Ghosts, please. <laughs> Look, you got your way. I suppose so, but it's... <laughs> it was not how you wanted it. No, it wasn't ghosts. All right. If they bump into each other out there, if we get eh. them both going on the same line, what happens? Push that eh. one. Bonk. No, no, they'll keep coming back, huh? Boo. No, go that way. It. No! Ghost! <laughs> you broke it! Ghost, I'm trying to think. <laughs> it's so weird to me that, like, I never really considered it until this playthrough of Banjo. Yeah. But, like, all these characters, like, they have, you know, their voices, their, their little voice clips that they play. I've never imagined them having like voices and it feels weird like to imagine them with voices that aren't just the, like bleh, 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 you know i, I don't agree know why. yeah i actually like we've not really been reading the dialogue in this i'm actually kind of grateful i don't know what voice i'd give these characters because because i can't like quite imitate it yeah it's it feels like alien because i was trying to think of grunty earlier and i'm like i can't think of not grunty that's just like yeah, like if I was trying to do banjo, I guess the closest I would get is sort of like a. It'd be it's it'd be goofy. That's what it is. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's a it's a lower pitched goofy maybe. Rare, hear me out. I know you're working on banjo three e, and I have a great idea mm -hmm. for a, for a goof. Just like, don't worry, we won't tell anybody except for the people who are watching this video. So, when you announce that you are releasing this game, also announce your voice cast, and make it like high profile. Like you're, you're like. All the big video game voice actor names are here. You got your, you got your Jennifer Hales and your Tara Strongs and your Nolan Norths and your Troy Bakers and all the uh, Yuri Lowenthal's, mm -hmm. all the hits. Game comes out. 
it's still it's just them doing those but doing like rah, 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 yeah. like not actually saying lines also all the characters normal normal like a uh, presentation for banjo kazooie voices one character talks normal <laughs> who will be the character who hey, talks banjo, normal? how you doing uh, good to see you i don't really know what you're saying but it's good to have you around appreciate you <laughs> It's always good seeing you, yeah. buddy. You should visit more often. <laughs> Here's a jiggy. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me. I don't need to go up here, I don't think. I do need to fly some more, because I gotta hit some snowman you gotta hit buttons. Them belly buttons. Yeah. Um I've never thought of a snowman's coal pieces as its belly buttons, and I don't like that. I don't either. Like, I like to think that it's buttons on a yeah, coat. it's buttons but, on a coat. But buttons on, like, what coat? Do you see a coat here, people? Yeah. <laughs> Flesh coat. Ugh. Yeah. That's, <laughs> boy, those are two words that don't belong no. together. <laughs> You've made a bad combination today. <laughs> it could just be someone talking about, like, they just um, painted their car and they have, like, maybe a little... A weird lisp or something. <laughs> I was dreading whatever that sentence was going to be, but that was. That you was got not a so flesh bad. coat of paint on, and then he's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I meant fresh." <laughs> sorry, boy. Imagine huh? I saved it yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's salvaged. It's better now. <laughs> it's great, and we can stop talking about it right away. <laughs> Auto cure. Cast cure on severely injured allies up to a set number of times. Will not activate if the character doesn't have enough ATB gauges. I don't like auto cure very much, if memory serves. It just, just kind of like cure that only happens sometimes. <laughs> right, shall we? Let's do. Um, somehow. Wait. Oh, oh, I see. I see. I got gotcha. you. When in doubt, break something and make a lot of noise. The ninja way. <laughs> I made you purple. I'm sorry. You That's were okay. in the way of <gasps> some other things that I wanted to color. You got cord coat. coat. Ooh, I must wear. Oh, oh that looks man. great with our scarf. We can wear that, and then when we walk around, it'll go... <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will not be good at sneaking up. <laughs> um, A ninja outfit of corduroy. <laughs> A corduroy ninja. Corduroy. Not very effective. <laughs> <laughs> or... Stylish, or though. Corduroy Ninja training with weights on. Oh, that's true. Because if you can sneak up on somebody in Corduroy, you can sneak up on someone in anything. What were we talking about? <laughs> Coloring things in, I think. I guess you're right. We should start a new internet or like YouTube or TikTok or whatever challenge. Like, how fast can you eat a Starburst? You know someone's going to swallow it and then it's going to be a bad time. <laughs> Oh no, people will die, but... <laughs> That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. But they'll win. <laughs> Not bad, bear, but now watch me. Copy this tune and amazed I'll be. I appreciate that this ghost hand adheres to the grunty school of taunts that they must rhyme. Honestly, I wish more of the... Like, the more characters rhyme, the better. It's just fun. And not just in Banjo, in every game. Yeah. More rhymes. Who's who's the villain you'd wish rhymed in video games? I don't know. See, like, I just watched the trailer for Far Cry 6 and nobody rhymed at all. It was really disappointing. Yeah. I don't think Sephiroth did one rhyme. Not a single rhyme. Oh my gosh, can you imagine with that voice, though? <laughs> like, Cloud. <laughs> sort of like doing a rhyme. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of like a line Sephiroth says. Alright, next next grunty line, I'm gonna try reading in Sephiroth voice. Okay. And we're you gonna got see it. how it you goes. We uh I think we just need to become pumpkin. Become pumpkin. And all the rest is pumpkin. I wanted to portmanteau that, but something about becumpkin makes me uncomfortable. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to. <laughs> If you had to become a vegetable, like an actual food item, and not the uh, actual, you know what? I just let's scrap this. <laughs> I was gonna say, more... what vegetable would you become? No, I was gonna say that question was made a whole lot of sense until the trail it started going in. But like, if you had to become a vegetable, except not actually turning into the real vegetable, yeah. like, but what? 
W what were you talking about? <laughs> well, I didn't want to be like, you know, like, oh, like... If you had to become a vegetable, but not to, like, get eaten, If you I had guess? to become a vegetable, but in the sense of the vegetable being a, a piece of food that is <laughs> a vegetable. What's in these high chews? What is... <laughs> Carrie, what'd you give us? <laughs> I'd be a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. What, Dan? No, I'm just trying to think. Now I get. Now I gotta come up with something. Uh -huh. Um. Actually, I take it back. Carrot would probably suck. Bell pepper. Nope. Too soft. <laughs> Too soft. I don't know, man. You get a good bell pepper. You get a nice crispy. Yeah, but I mean, like that's. <laughs> you, think. Think of like. A bell pepper in a forest, like... <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't know, please continue, though. <laughs> I don't know, just like, I, I'm thinking of like, a, like, okay, I'm going on, like, replace this pumpkin with a bell pepper, and... That's no, pretty adorable. No, ch no chance. I'm going through this grass, my flesh is all bruised, and... Uh, so you're on, like, real sturdiness. Yeah, it's here, gotta be see. some kind of, like, squash or pumpkin, right? Mm, it's true. If you're like celery, like that's that's got some celery, strength. Got... What if what if you, when you became celery, you were like upside down and your your stalks were your legs, <laughs> and you were like a you were like one of those um, War of the Worlds aliens. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? This has to be the absolute weirdest we've gotten in anything you and I have ever recorded <laughs> together. <laughs> what a wow! I love that you found this conversation. <laughs> You specifically, <laughs> not me. I do not share. Let in the, the blame. records go down. Dan <laughs> Floyd had nothing to do with this. <laughs> I cannot be blamed or held responsible. I can't see squat. Light, light. I need more light. This looks promising. Level three power grid online. And no wonder we're killing the planet. Just, like, to turn on some lights in the lab, there's incredible power draw. <laughs> this entire room is powering the lights. Uh, looks like I can only go this way. Maybe this way to luncheon. Wait, you're... Oh, I'm sorry. This way to more to color? Ah. Hi, mushrooms. I was... I was really enjoying how the colors blend together. <laughs> Let's do some more of that, then. Yeah. Well, I mean, just because I was enjoying it doesn't mean we have to keep doing it, though. Eh. I don't mean to be selfish and take over. Oh yeah, that's, you're right. Like, there'll be no fun having here. <laughs> All business. Well, <laughs> it's not like we're doing, you know, work right now or nothing. Nah. No professionalism to be seen anywhere. That's a play frame guarantee. <laughs> that's a play frame guarantee. Yeah, it uh, actually kind of is. <laughs> What's that rare box got in it? Join me now and dump the bear. That little backpack, then I'll wear, Cloud. <laughs> That's really fun. Yeah. I need I need I need some more of Grunty Sephiroth. <laughs> Rhyming Sephiroth. It's and Sephiroth is in Smash. If you put Grunty oh in my Smash, gosh. those two can hang out. Listen, I will say. I want to love Banjo Tooie. I think I have some very fair criticisms that <laughs> have enlightened how I feel about collectathons that I learned from my issues with the game. I still adore Banjo, and uh, you're wrong if you like the game. <laughs> <laughs> you were going so good. I was good. I was having. I was trying, but I just couldn't hold back. <laughs> what do you think they were cooking? Some kind of looks like maybe some chili. Hmm. Let's see here. Or a stew. Maybe it's a stew. This does seem yeah pretty soupy. Yeah. For a chili. A nice and I see no stew. other ingredients other than I guess the or worm gravy. we killed. Could just be a gravy. Could just be gravy. It's the gravy boat. Gravy boat. It's the gravy boat. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. All right, we're out. <laughs> the gravy boat. Uh, I shouldn't have said our best joke this early yeah, in the episode. That's it. See you next week. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a drag from here. <laughs> I 
tried to make another heart. It failed. It's ah. difficult. Oh, sure. It's eh. difficult. He goes and does it perfectly. Eh. Not a very good heart. The first time. But... <laughs> oh, it's so hard. Things are so tough. Yes. It's so difficult. I see your troubles, Carrie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Purple roof. And then, like, S rank, no scoping it. That is not an heart. S rank heart. You and I both know that that is not an S rank heart. I'm just saying, <laughs> you're all talk about how you understand my pain, but you don't. You know what it is to be good at things. This is a heart that gets put up on a fridge, and nothing S rank has ever been put up on a fridge. Listen, if your heart gets put up in a fridge, what's my heart? I <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> I tried to outline it to make it better! <laughs> Look at it! Did it work? <laughs> Jinjo, this guy would have talked to you. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> That's all I can say. His little sailor costume. Now I'm actually torn. Is he saying, like, a hi? Or is he saying, ahoy? Like, in oh, a little funny way. Oh, now hi. I need to hear it again. I think it, I, I always assumed it was just hi. It sounds like hi. But ahoy is very on brand. It's true. For this, this ship crew. Good nautical theme. This, uh... Isn't there a word for ship crew? There is. <laughs> that was good. That was good, Dan. <laughs> what is? Is it just crew? I thought. I thought you were literally just setting up a joke. No. You're thinking of semen. Oh, that's a funny joke. <laughs> I was not actually. Happy to help, though. Um. Now nah, I gotta look this up. <laughs> I I'm literally just, thought you were making a joke. I was not, but <laughs> bravo. <laughs> I like the carpet. I do too. Look at it. Like, I the first <laughs> thing, the most important thing is that when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I should know and remember is that I am on a boat. I'm a captain. I am a captain. I have anchors on my <laughs> sheets. Here's a picture of my boat that I'm in. Don't forget. <laughs> Here's the carpet. Um, Flan? Flan, you all right? Help me, Red. This game's too hard. I got attacked by squirrels. Could you help me up? Yeah. Thanks a bunch. This time I will not fail. Love your armor. Um. Thanks for helping me, Red. You bet, Flan. That was Flan, wasn't it? Flan. Come on. They're squirrels. Wow, those squirrels don't give up. <laughs> Would you mind helping me again? You got it, buddy. Thanks a bunch. This time I will not fail. I believe in you, pal. <sighs> okay. Flan. Guy. Wow, those squirrels don't give up. Would you mind helping me again? As much as it takes. This time I will not fail. We'll see. Okay. Flan. All right. Are you sure you don't want to just, like, stay down? I am really flabbergasted by this. <laughs> I'll try something else to trick those squirrels. Would you mind helping me up again? You got it. Thanks a bunch. This time I will not fail. Good luck. Hey. Look at you. Hanging in there. Good on you. Still good, right? Flan, I'm worried about you. You got it, buddy. You show him. <laughs> it's one of those things like even if it's a minor annoyance oh, we got a gamer picture we got a gamer picture bear win gamer pick to spruce up gamer profile <laughs> nice nice, <laughs> nice. That's really that good. was great hmm. I guess this is good I think it's pretty good I just, I feel like I could be doing more. Hmm. Better, somehow. You are an artist. What? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not a real artist. I don't You'd know. You'd have to talk to, like... You feel a lack of satisfaction with your work. Mm, no. It's the most artist thing imaginable. Real artists are like the friends we know who actually do artwork. And feel completely dissatisfied with their work, generally. I'm just saying, I'm not good enough at art to be a real artist. So, you know. And I'm saying that's the artistest thought one can have. 
I don't know if, if that's true. I don't know if I'm good enough to have artist imposter syndrome. When I asked you all to say, hey, could somebody make, take that, like, Andrew Ryan grunty goof that we started goofing around with and actually make the full speech in grunty rhyme? Numerous people did. Some of them even in rhyme, which is incredible. And even better still, one of those, one of those incredible speeches, some other person found and decided to actually make into a video, which I'm just going to cut in right now because it is wonderful. Enjoy this. That was perfect. And so credit for the original speech conversion that was from uh, YouTube user uh, Tim Bates 12 And the video was created by a member of the uh, Play Friends Discord, uh, Hoodie Sticks. Thank you both very much for that. It was, it was amazing. The, my favorite thing is there's little eyes on the hammer and sickle and like, it's so good. It's I so lost good. it. <laughs> oh, cool. Whoa, that's so neat. Right? This game's great. Right? Again, no idea if this is fun to watch, but to right. play, big time. I guess we'll be able to see numbers eventually to see how fun it is to watch. If numbers are super low, we can stop and carry and I can just play this on our own time. This oh, is for sure, yeah. Like, uh, or we can try to like be a little speedier with or, the play. Or uh, we can subject you all to our passion for art. That's true. Like maybe you all just need to learn to appreciate art. Maybe that. The problem is our <laughs> art isn't appreciated in our time. <laughs> and by Can time, we... I mean the time of others we're wasting. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why they don't appreciate it. It actually makes a lot of sense when you say it all at once. A wielder cloak. <laughs> Perfect. Like I know all the doors encourage you to go kill everyone, but. If a door told me to go kill everyone, I would simply say no. Call me old-fashioned. Grunty facts. Do you know and can you tell what on earth's my favorite smell? Sweaty gorilla feet, putrid parrot puke, freshly burst boils. Oh no, a lot know. of these are familiar. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I want to say... Beat. Yeah! Oh boy. Scary. Okay. Grunty would like feet. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> uh, didn't see that joke coming. Grunty's great. So, question. If I quit out of the game right now, we don't have to do the, pre the quiz again, right? I think? Let's, I don't know. Let's find out, because there's something I need y'all to s actually- Oh, yes, of course. Will that still show that, though, because we've saved two? I'm pretty sure it will. All right, y'all, we're going to try this, because there's something that we've been meaning literally every single recording session to show you, and we keep forgetting. There's a cutscene that plays that's unique if you just, like, exit the game. If yeah, you if first... you get a game over or you exit the game, it plays the game over. So let's uh, let's see if it plays, because I don't think I've ever done this uh, yes. after- completing the game show and getting 2D back. <laughs> so, what's going to happen? Let's see. Let's find out together. It's a great cutscene, though, that you all need it's to a, see. It's a very... <gasps> no! <gasps> all right, tell you we what. We gotta load a new game. Yeah, all right, new game. 
Hang on, everybody. This is too important. <laughs> too important. We're going to the kitchen. Sit tight, everybody. Kitchen time. Carrie, cut ahead, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you might be able to skip. I yeah. Can see if it's awesome. Okay. All right. Here we are. So, uh. Oh, shoot. We lost. Oh, oh man. Beans. Rough. It's got to be like fastest time to failure possible <laughs> in this game, right? Okay. This time. I do love that they actually account for the fact. No, Tootie saved. Of course, that cutscene wouldn't make sense. What? What? Is it too spicy for Microsoft? Wait a minute. Wait it. Hmm. What, what's, what if we? What if we? Maybe we, if we get into the into the lair. If we can get into the lair, maybe then if we quit out, it works. Because then we see some more cutscenes once we get inside. Like, cause I, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we don't see the first time we see Tootie in, actually inside the machine it's, is after mm, we get yeah. into the lair. I think. Okay. So okay. okay. All right, we're doing this Go real ahead. fast. Y'all sit tight. Because it's, it's essential. Yeah. They fell for our trick to allow us to keep playing Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> episode, you know, three more episodes we got to record tonight, you know? <laughs> bottles, bottles, shut up. I know. Bottles. Bottles, shut up. Bottles. Those, those are pretty good voices, actually. That's because who is the hard one? <laughs> I got any I need more water. Yeah, you gotta moisturize. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> I <laughs> do the we'll voice act the whole game now. Yeah, no, we were <laughs> Oh, this the stuff people have missed out on. Decline training, please. I know. <laughs> <I'm>, I, <laughs> it's, it's terrible. <laughs> Disagree. <laughs> Thanks, bottles. Okay. Oh, I can't run. Can't run. <sighs> okay. Can't walk run. like a simple. Stupid bare feet. <laughs> Carrie's not gonna cut this out. Nope. <laughs> this is all going in. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Uh, now you'll Where know what, else, what we sound like when we don't think we're oh, being yeah. recorded. Great. Oh, boy. Ugh. Anyway, vegetables. <laughs> vegetables. Vegetables.